Of course, the most interesting planes are those that excel in their class. Whether they're the fastest, most comfortable, most innovative, or even the most luxurious, we tend to focus on the exceptional. However, we haven't talked much about being the most versatile. Sure, we've reviewed the Beaver and the Cub, and I still believe each of them is unique and beautiful in its own way. But today's hero is a plane that truly can do it all. Welcome to Big Metal Birds, and in this video, we review the Swiss Army Knife of the Skies, Pilatus PC-6, also known as Porter. If you're into short takeoff and landing airplanes, you probably already know the roots of today's bird. Pilatus is a well-known niche airplane manufacturer from Switzerland. While they may not have influenced general aviation as much as Cessna, Piper, and Beechcraft, when it comes to the utility aircraft segment, Pilatus proudly leads the way. So, how did it all begin? Since 1938, Pilatus has primarily focused on military trainers for the Swiss Air Force, and as the sole manufacturer of such scale, they've built hundreds of trainer planes in the next 10 years. However, it's worth mentioning that, as with many projects, the first attempt often doesn't find much success. Their P-1 never passed the prototype phase, but the knowledge gained was carried over to the P-2 and P-3, which were much more successful. The P-4 was their first attempt to build a utility aircraft, rather than a military trainer. And, unfortunately, history repeated itself. The first try was a flop. We'll skip the P-5, as they didn't even make a single prototype. But after that, a legend was born. The Pilatus PC-6. The PC-6, also known as the Porter, was designed to expand Pilatus's market share in the post-World War II period, when demand for military aircraft ceased. Understanding that they couldn't compete with American manufacturers in the smaller recreational general aviation segment, Pilatus made a clever decision to focus on utility aircraft. This decision was partially influenced by the local aviation market. Switzerland, being a country dominated by the Alps, was a challenging place to fly for the majority of GA planes at the time. However, the need for aircraft that could operate in and out of small, high-altitude fields surrounded by mountainous terrain was significant. This led Pilatus to design a plane that, for more than 60 years, would become a crucial lifeline for remote areas. Not only in Switzerland, but across the entire world. So, let's take a closer look at what makes this bird so special. It has a semi-monocoque fuselage with a semi-boxy shape. Boxy like its closest American counterpart, the Cessna Grand Caravan. By the way, we have a video about it on our channel. They're even similar in size. The Cessna is a bit longer at 41 feet compared to the Porter's 36 feet, but the wingspan is identical, at 52 feet on both. But the Porter's distinctive nose, that's what's unique to this plane. Of course, this design was made to fit a large turboprop engine that we'll talk about later, but it also helps balance the significant payload it's capable of carrying. Speaking of payload, the PC-6 is the only plane I know of that features not a hinge or clamshell door, but a sliding door, and on each side. To further enhance its versatility, it even has a trapdoor. It's worth mentioning that the all-aluminum fuselage has a corrosion-resistant coating, which enhances its longevity and durability. The high-mounted wing is another crucial feature for bush planes. It provides better visibility and clearance, and what further enhances these factors is the tail dragger gear, which lifts the plane even higher off the ground, protecting the prop and wing when operating on rough terrains. Another must-have are the large, low-pressure Tundra tires. Dirt, grass, sand, stone, you name it, the Porter can land there. And if you name water or snow, not an issue. In fact, a ski-equipped PC-6, nicknamed Yeti, holds the record for the highest landing of a fixed-wing aircraft. It landed on the Daulagiri Glacier in Nepal at an altitude of 18,865 feet. And of course, the Porter can be used on water when equipped with floats. So, what else does it need to be a true Swiss army knife in the sky? Of course, the practicality of its design needs to be matched by its performance. Remember that comically long nose? Yeah, this is probably the fourth plane in a row we've made a video about that's powered by a Pratt & Whitney PT-6A turboprop engine. To be absolutely precise, the PC-6 initially had a piston engine. 
but tests revealed that it wasn't capable of delivering the performance needed for the missions the Porter was designed to perform. So, the PT-6 it is. Over the years, it has been equipped with two different variants, 550 and 680 horsepower, but the performance difference wasn't that significant. Still, this engine allowed the PC-6 to cruise at 110 knots, with a maximum speed of 135 knots. But this plane isn't about speed. Remember, it's a utility plane. So, one of the crucial factors here is range. Of course, range varies depending on the modification and payload. But the approximate flight range is 500 nautical miles, which is decent. However, the Porter is able to carry up to three fuel tanks in the cabin and can also be equipped with underwing tanks. If you fill all of them, you're almost hitting the weight limit, but the total range will be well over a thousand nautical miles. Why would you need that much range? Stay tuned to find out. By the way, speaking of limits, the empty weight of the PC-6 is 3,000 pounds. Yes, it's not the lightest bird due to its engine and rugged construction, but the maximum takeoff weight is more than double at 6,173 pounds. Isn't that impressive? Well, I know what's even more impressive. It's takeoff and landing distances. This big bird's takeoff distance over a 50-foot obstacle is just 1,400 feet, while the landing distance is an even thousand. I know, usually takeoff and landing over an obstacle don't impress people as much as ground roll. So, just to mention, takeoff ground roll is 640 feet and landing ground roll is 400. Now, let's talk about where all of these design and performance features play a pivotal role, making the Porter so special. According to Pilatus, they designed the PC-6 to be as close to a helicopter as an airplane can be. While the PC-6 isn't capable of steady hovering, its stall capabilities have been tested in dozens of rescue missions, making it a reliable option for search and rescue operations. Additionally, the large sliding doors I mentioned earlier allow for easy loading and unloading of stretchers. The second most common use for the PC-6 is cargo transport, especially to remote areas in Asia and Africa where the Porter delivers crucial humanitarian aid and communication equipment to isolated regions. When not utilizing the PC-6's cargo capabilities, it's often used as a surveillance and patrol aircraft, equipped with LiDAR and FLIR systems, as well as cameras and laser scanners. Last but not least, in Europe, nearly half of all Porters are used for parachuting, primarily because of its impressive rate of climb, 1,000 feet per minute. For such versatility and truly notable performance, there's a price to pay. Because of extensive use, it's hard to find a low-time porter. But if you're lucky enough to spot one, still be ready to pay around $2 million for this bird. As we wrap up our video about Porter PC-6, I want to say that with every utility plane I research, it becomes even more clear. Big metal birds not only bring us joy to fly, but also perform crucial missions around the whole globe. Whether it's rescuing those in need, delivering essential supplies to the most remote corners of the Earth, or performing countless other crucial missions, utility planes like the PC-6 are like a lifeline passed through the clouds. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from above the clouds. Fly safe, and until next time!